I guess well, we're going to uh, start heading back. You guys want to head mean, back? Yeah. Okay, how do you want to leave? Do you want to leave the, the lair through the door that goes into the shaman's hut or through the door that goes into the town hall? Town hall, bitches. Just going to roll up and through the town hall? Yeah, I'm good right. with that. Okay. Oh. Alright, so you guys make your way up through the town hall and unfortunately I don't have a, a map for this one. So we're going to... Oh, you know what? We'll do this. Uh, oh, nope. That's not even the right meeting hall. Huh. We're just going to go back to the Sword Coast. That's all. That's what we'll do. Um, where are you guys? You guys are over here. So you guys make your way back up through the... Uh, through the Looney Tunes adventure. Um, Holy Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> so you guys make your way back up through the ladder and when you make open your way through Spanish Harlem <laughs> when you open the trap door that covers the ladder and you climb up into the town hall what you find are a group of ice hunters and a group of kobolds uh, fighting each other and it looks like the kobolds that had fled the the lair took the wrong exit out took the ladder up and came into the town hall where the ice hunters were having a a feast of some sort. About to be a feast of kobolds. I would say that we should let the ice hunters die because if they're so stupid they have to hunt ice that uh, <laughs> right? they, deserve, they deserve to be extinct. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm yeah. all for nature taking its course on this one. I'm just going to walk away. Whoever right. wins, wins. I'm going to kill, kill the kobolds as I go. Yeah, right. I'm going to have all these turn the ice hunters into uh, wolves <laughs> and then I'm gonna help the uh, I'm gonna help them kill the cold old alright so you guys roll through and, uh, and spend some time picking off kobolds as you as you move through the town hall are you uh, are you taking your time to go out of your way and, and smack some kobolds or are you just kind of the ones that are on the way out we're gonna oh, yeah we're gonna yeah. I'd, I'm just going to the ship alright I am busy reading. I'm walking and reading. Nature at the same taking time. its course. Whoever whoever wins. I am nature. All right. So you guys, uh, you guys make your way back to the ship, and uh, the captain is there waiting on you. Uh, looks like he's probably been hunkered down for about three days in total. Uh, as you guys were were exploring the the caves and the caverns, uh, so he's a little frostbitten, a little annoyed that he's been sitting out here. But he was a, that was also part of his job. So he welcomes you back aboard, asks if you guys happen to have picked up any rations or any uh, anything was, that you could use yeah. for food on the way back. I I will give him some of my good berries. Okay. Because he must have been sitting there without anything to eat, so I will give him some of the ones that I have. Okay. And then we can, uh, we can go hunting like right now or on the way or something like. I can Ice turn hunting? Into a fucking <laughs> whale, whale hunting. I'm a fucking whale, man. All right. There's some ice. There's some ice. <laughs> so you guys, uh, you guys get back on the ship, and you take the uh, the two week voyage back to Waterdeep. And uh, what are you doing once you return to Waterdeep? Are you guys going straight to the council to let them know what you found, or what are you doing? I don't Why have really a reason to detour. Okay. We stink. <laughs> and? Yeah. We smell like adventure. <laughs> well, here's the thing, is that we're in Waterdeep. We are now residing in Waterdeep to do things, which means we have a place to stay. Uh, did last ever, time you were we here, you that? last time you were here, you stayed at an inn. Okay, that's not going to work. Fuck. Okay. Um, I need to get a place to store something. So, and I do not trust the inn. So, I, that's pretty okay. much what my focus is going to be. Is since I have, since we're going to be here for a while, because I guess we're doing work. And did you cut off again? Again, I I can't answer that question. Hello. Hey, there you are. You yeah, are. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on tonight, but it's been clipping people's sentences all night. Uh, so what were you saying? 
I was, so saying, I was like, I was don't just... ask me if I've been cut off. I can't answer that question. <laughs> no, no, the Cypher thing was, was... That I could hear you, but you couldn't hear me. That's the really strange uh, thing. Yeah. Um, what I was saying is, is that I need to find a place that I can safely store things. Okay. And since it's it's not going to be at the inn, um, so I need to find a a place that I can live or right. stay that okay. I can lock that kind of thing. So that's what I got. That's what that's I was what saying. Like, didn't we take the ex-wife to Waterdeep? I don't know. I don't remember. Because I thought I, thought... I know the ex-wife couldn't get to. Um where we just were, it couldn't penetrate the ice, but didn't we take the ex-wife this far? No. Well, yeah. if that's the case, then, then I will I will go back to the ex-wife to store some things. The council hired a ship for you. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's what I remember. Well, I don't remember coming right. over in But didn't I have to, like, up the uh, the estimated price to basically oh, yeah. pay myself? Yeah. Because yeah. we hired me? That's right. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. I hired okay, myself. So... Yeah. So then, so then yeah, yeah, then I'll go back the to the ex-wife. Ex and... Okay. And um, use it as a, and to store some stuff. Okay. You also, if you want, you have your contacts with like the Harpers and the people in the city that could set you up with uh, a residence somewhere. I just need uh, a, however a you want to do it. I can... The ex-wife is available to you if you want to use it. Yeah. Did, yeah no, did that, a, that... Like a lodge or something. No, I, th I think I think because of the fact that we're not going to be living in Waterdeep, that it makes sense to store it on the ship. I just forgot we came on that so that's what I would do is go back to the ship go okay. to my my cabin and uh store some store some of the books that I found books and scrolls alright totally do that uh who else has anybody else got anything in particular that they want to do before you head towards uh meeting with the council uh yeah, I don't think we should detour. I, I'm pretty ready to go meet the council, and then we can do like other stuff afterwards. Because they, That's they seem like. I'm at. I just want to get cleaned up. Cause, uh... This doesn't seem like a stopping point in this quest. Well, here's the thing: is that is the council constantly gathered? I mean, they just sit around being a council, and then people show up eventually. <laughs> or do we have to wait for them to gather? Like they gather every six Sunday or something? Yeah. Well, you would need to find one of your contacts. Uh... Right. And then let them know that you're back in town and kind of go from right. there. Okay, so then it is going to take a little bit of time, so you guys can still do what you need to do. Yeah. So I, I really yeah. like the idea that they are always a council, and just when there's no <laughs> business, they're all just sitting around like flicking paper, paper footballs at each other. Just sitting around looking at their cell phones. I was going to say, okay, so you guys get back to town, and, uh, and, uh, Sorry, lost my train of thought. You get back to town and you find the Harper contact that you had um, for for your council. And you say, look, we're back in town. We have news for the council. Um, and she says, you know, we do, we meet, you know, every other, every couple of weeks. Let me find you some room and board in the meantime. <laughs> we never leave. We're <laughs> so desperate for company. She, you guys kind of give her the rundown of, of how things went uh, and and what happened uh, as she's as you're talking this over and she's nodding and kind of you know, following your story along uh, and she says and after a while she she says you know stay at the end tonight uh, the night that you guys get back and I will I will meet with you tomorrow as I arrange some lodgings for you uh, in a more permanent fashion. Is there anything anybody wants to ask her or, or anything do before she sets you up with some sort of permanent lodging? Do you guys want to go find merchants and sell stuff or armorers or anything? Maybe, yeah, maybe if there's a, an armorer where we could drop off uh, some of these the supplies, like the dragon stuff. Okay. Make thrones and armor and whatnot. I don't know what else people wanted to make. A dragon um, costume. A dragon costume. That's right. A dragon cosplay. Excellent. All right. Uh, so I am. Acid and potions. Sorry, what was that, Anna? I, gotta... I want a, a taxidermist first, and then <laughs> some acid and potions. Okay. All right. So, uh, as far as finding an armor smith goes, you you go through a couple of shops and. The first few that you visit, uh, really, like, it doesn't look like this guy could 
hammer his way out of a paper bag. Like, you're not quite sure how he's making functioning armor. Uh, and these three guys must have studied at the same school together because they're all about roughly the same uh, proficiency. And your guess, if you had to, like, look at them and make a guess, you probably could tell that maybe these guys have something worked out where they don't do better quality gear than the other one. It's some weird arrangement between the three of them to try to keep... It. They're like, if we keep making crappy armor, people have to keep buying it. And they come oh, back shit. to us. And so they've got this kind of shady deal going on between the three of them. Um, but you... Are they all like pallet swaps of each other? <laughs> you do finally get to one that looks like he actually knows what he's doing. And you can... The, the scab. The, the scab. The quality of the armor is better. The guards of Waterdeep seem to be getting their uh, armor from this guy. Um... <laughs> So <laughs> there, there doesn't seem to be any blood stains on any of the armor that this guy makes. Where the other guys had like their display windows had blood stains on them, and maybe these were, you know, second hand, third hand armor from the other ones. So many hands. <laughs> Hang on, there's somebody at my door. That would be his crockpot. He wants to know why it hasn't been used in months. <laughs> I'm is. so lonely. I'm scared, MP. Will I dream? <laughs> Actually, I made chicken chili verde in it the other night. So there. Yeah, all right. There you go. Oh, dang. It was good, Play too. It. No, not that. Oh, uh, I mean, well, yeah, fine. Fuck you. <laughs> no, but also, on the oh, dang, uh, Play Arts Kai, if you've seen any of their toys, they do some really cool stuff. They're doing a Darth Maul that looks fucking badass. Right on. I saw... Uh, Fumco is doing a uh, a Deadpool with a chimichanga van. <laughs> I might have to end up getting that at some point. Dude, look at that Darth Maul. Is this before or after he was cut in half? Uh, before. Okay. I want to see one with him after he's been cut in half. Uh, somebody. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is yeah, nice, right? actually. Yeah. They they do a um, uh, like the gallery at the bottom, like third third photo in. Holy shit. Yeah, that's nice. I suppose we should link this in chat so people know we what we're actually chat. talking yeah, about. So, yeah, magical we bullshit. <laughs> the, the, the thing is that they, they identify him as not a Zabrak, but he's got the fucking Zabrak horns. Which is right, how is he not a Zabrak? I don't know. Why is he going to fall into it. your cis gender and races? Uh, hey, he's got, if it's got horns... Well, not everybody that it, is born with horns is if a Zabrak. If it quacks like so. a Zabrak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got anyway. changeable heads. He can go from the normal, yeah. the pensive to the angry. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, the Play Arts Kai figures, like, they, they take hard artistic liberties, like with armor and stuff like that. Uh, That's okay. But, it looks but great. But they're fucking rad. Yeah. They yeah, did a Boba Fett really not too long ago that looked pretty sweet. But that one's probably one of the coolest they've done, for me anyway, in a long time. Like, I'm I'm tempted. I might have to pick him up. He's kind of badass. So you guys do eventually find an armor that can work with uh, with your salvaged goods. Um, and he's, he's more than happy to take on your work orders, but he does tell you that it's going to be with this kind of material and, and the number of work orders that you guys are giving him, it's probably going to be a month and a half before he can actually finish all of them. How long are we going to be in water deep? Well, the council doesn't meet for another two weeks, at least. Oh. So chances okay. are you're going to be in water deep for, for at least a while, which is the idea of the more permanent residences, and it seems to be indicating that as well. How deep is the water? It's fairly deep. If you guys go into a Bee Gees fucking song, I'm going to hurt you both. Just letting <laughs> you know that right now. <sighs> Story that I learned from Neverwinter Nights, the uh, the like term for like being from Waterdeep is Waterdavian. Waterdavian, interesting. Yep. Yeah, one of the first the like first quests in Neverwinter Nights is this like fetch quest where you have to uh, return the Waterdavian creatures. I forgot that Neverwinter Nights was set in in Waterdeep. That's right. Oh yeah, yeah. it wasn't yeah. set there. Uh, right. well, it, it's like it's, close by. It's set on the like, Sword Coast, yeah. 
they get these like creatures imported and then they get released and then they like start wreaking havoc on Neverwinter because they're like, oh my god, magical creatures. And they can't deal with that shit in Neverwinter. All right. As far as uh, so, so he says it's going to be about six weeks to to fulfill these orders. Are you guys okay with that? I will accept payment, you know, upon completion of the orders. Uh, you're already entrusting me with the raw goods, so I don't need any further payment from you to to start work on this. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, Steve is asking him to make a dragon hide cloak. Yeah, or is it armor set? Uh, uh, dragon, dragon hide, studded leather. Studded leather. Uh, and then uh, maybe a fancy scarf. And a fancy scarf out and, of the webbing. Yeah. All right, uh, Genji, did you? You were just getting no. the bed thing, but you aren't having him make you I'm, anything. I'm no, I'm I. The dragon parts I took are basically just for home decor. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Anna, what do, what did you want to have made? Oh, I just wanted my Okay. Uh, so you need like a bell there. jar. Okay. Uh, Cipher, are you doing anything with your parts? Uh, the actually the I'm holding on to the dragon horn because it may come in useful for oh. a spell or a potion later on. However, okay. I am going to um, I am going to find a what are they called? Shit, they make books. The Bibliograph, bi 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 librarian. Know. Yeah, librarian. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I need I need to go. I can't remember if there's an actual term for it, but uh, I need to go to uh, a bookbinder, and I want to get the information that I've collected so far bound into a book form, and um, and that well, basically, I just I want them to bind the scrolls I have into a book. I don't want them to make because I don't think they have movable type yet so yeah I want the scrolls that I have bound into a book or a folio and I also just want to get more ink more parchment and a couple more quills because okay. I've been writing so much okay. that's the word they're called a foliest foliest huh. that's, what, that's what we're going to call it <laughs> we're going to go with that um, anyway so you guys you guys find your shops that you're looking for uh, you find your uh, your taxidermists and your librarians, uh, holiest, and and put in your orders basically. The while you're doing this, or after a while, the Harper representative that you guys met with earlier in the day uh, comes back to you and says that she has found a a location that you guys can stay while you're in Waterdeep. Uh, she said it is it's a guild house, but currently it it's only housing. Uh, one member and his daughter um, while he is working on some some uh, tactics to help boister the way that familiars work with their uh, I'm, I'm the DM is missing the word here uh, with their person <laughs> so he is he's doing research into that and and researching on uh, on more intelligent familiars uh, but the rest of the guild house is available for you guys to use as you see fit. Okay. Um, so she's she kind of walks you guys through the the uh, the streets of Waterdeep to the section where the guild house is. Uh, everybody, roll me. Uh, well, actually, you know what? I don't need you to roll for that. That's silly. Um, as you guys are walking through, there's street urchins are running by. You've got vendors trying to sell you stuff up and down the sides of the road and eventually one this little imp runs kind of right through the group of you almost causing you to trip and right behind it is this little like six-year-old girl chasing after the imp um and the harper calls out yes like an actual imp um like the and the harper calls out as as the child rushes by and she says nina come back and and the girl that was chasing the imp stops and, and runs up to the Harper agent and the Harper agent kind of picks the little girl up and she says she introduces her. This is Nina. This is the uh, daughter of the the man you'll be staying sharing the guild house with. 
um, as his as he is doing his uh, research. And she she's a very happy, perky little girl, uh, and she she kind of does a little bow and curtsy to each person that she's introduced to. I will uh, press to digitate a, uh, a a small like a little flower, just a poof, like a flower, and hand it down to her. Okay, and she she like claps her hands as she takes it. She's like, "That's awesome! Do it again." I will uh, each hand just just make like five more come out. And she starts uh starts cheering and and uh just clapping and kind of dancing in the in the flowers as I'm assuming they're raining down on her. Uh, well, uh, I will just flop them all on the ground and then animate objects and make them all get up and do a little jig. Like, oh, <laughs> magic's great! Everybody loves magic! And, and she will giggle and, like, dance with the flowers. Uh, and after a few minutes, the, the Harper agent pick, kind of picks her back up and, and she takes you guys into the house uh, where, where you'll be staying. Uh, and she introduces the... Uh, the father, sorry, my my mind is going just tonight, um, and and he does not look up. She says that this is uh, Xiao, and um, he is a tiefling, um, and he is kind of bent over a desk, kind of studying pages and papers, and does not look up as you guys enter or as as you're introduced. Um, but. Ugh, my brain tonight. Nina runs over to him and gives him a big hug. Uh, the, sorry, and I, I should uh, back that up and correct that. Nina is a tiefling as well. Um, so she gets punched in the face and is killed. Right, right. So, so goat murders her. <laughs> so were they related to this other tiefling, Macaff? They are not. Okay, good. I was supposed to be like, <laughs> that's like Macaff's daughter. I just want to put my hands up like, nope, nope, <laughs> nope. Where's my mommy? My mommy's <laughs> been missing for a long time. We miss her. Um, Your hand smells like my mommy. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say. So she, the Harper agent kind of directs you to uh, your different rooms. And this is a large house. It's probably a four-story townhouse. Uh, you've got plenty of room for that. You've all got your own rooms and your own privacy uh, throughout the house. Common area and, uh, and kitchen and whatnot, though on the first floor. All the bedrooms are on the second floor. Um, old tiefling mage. Which old tiefling mage? Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what kid's talking about. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, got you. Shao. S H A O. Or excuse me, S H O U. I can fucking Jesus my brain tonight. Yeah. Um and so yeah, the Harper agent takes you around and introduces you or not introduces you, jeez. Shows you each your own rooms and, and kind of you've all got big rooms, desks, uh bookshelves, pretty much uh, secure trucks, what you would really want out of a, a place that you're going to be spending the next couple of months in. Anybody want to do anything? Uh, I think I'm sleep take a hot day. bath and a hot nap. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give, uh, we, I'll, I'll start dancing in the flowers, too. You're gonna start dancing in bars? Is that what you said? No, in the, in the flowers. In the flowers, yeah. okay, I already He's dancing in bars. Boy, he needs, he needs to make a little bit of extra money. Just like, yeah. you're not that hard up. I'll start, I'll start idea, beatboxing. But... Yeah, <sighs> I, I wonder, I wonder how much money Saren could make as a erotic dancer. <laughs> I'd give you a dollar. I could what well, I, I could turn into a bear, and you could do the thing with someone could make me like a uh, like a tutu. Bears and tutus are hilarious. Oh, oh, and I'll totally throw my voice, and we can have like a two man show. Yeah. There we go, three man show. Aaron, Aaron is much more willing to do goofy animal grifting than Yonder was. <laughs> 
All right, so I think this is a good stopping point for us tonight because the next couple of things start some things off. Um, so we may end the stream a little early uh, this week, guys. But we will hang around and just kind of bullshit. That if works. you guys are cool with that. Yeah. 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 You, you guys... I'm making the mistake of, of going to my plastic heart. I haven't been there in a few months, and now I'm going to drop several hundred on pre-orders. You guys that are, are in chat, shush. That's all I'm saying. Shush. <laughs> you know who you are. What's going on in here? Nothing. Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. Did we get a lot of people this time? Oh, or was it as much as we've, we've done pretty good for viewers, and, and we've got definitely some active people in there that need to close their mouths. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I think Jinji may be onto it already. So I may have to change some storylines. <laughs> but are you are about... you gonna pull a Full Metal Alchemist on us? Cause... Shush! God damn it! <laughs> now I'm not. I was going well, to. Well, I mean, I'm probably the only. I might be the only one who's watched it. So I only know a tiny, tiny little bit about that story. So See, if you did go. it, I'd be completely Alchemist. caught off guard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. How well you, do you guys you're... know it? I know Gigi has already figured it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I knew I, I should totally change didn't names. I make the connection, but I know okay. all about Alexander the Puppu. <laughs> Fucking awful. <laughs> Fucking awful. <laughs> yeah, that was you like one of the, the like I, I totally cried. Dude, like hardcore. Like that, it it hurt deep. I don't think I actively cried, but uh, not that I'm incapable of such <laughs> from anime. I'm yeah. not trying to. I'm not was... trying to be bro and like strong arm. Like I don't ever cry at cartoons. No, I cry at plenty of cartoons. That just wasn't one of them. No, I I yeah. should have I should have changed names a little bit more. I think. I, yeah, I uh, can't finish I... Wolf's Rain without just fucking losing it like a fucking but, nine year old girl. You know, oh, yeah, for, for you guys that are hanging out in chat tonight, I am going to give you 50 more XP for you guys to use in the raffle next week. Just because I'm nice and I felt like doing it. Aww. I thought I thought he was going to give you a 50 extra XP for ruining his story. <laughs> no. Thanks, guys. I'm here. I, I think Jinji's the only one that knows the particular storyline. I no, I think other I, people were referring to it. And I, I know that just, folks, like folks in chat do. Okay, yeah, folks in like chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's so much of a like a trope. The like, you know, the like scientist that like works too hard and his like chipper daughter and their like pet. Like that's. Uh, I, I feel like that was too general for me to catch on. Okay. I, you know, unless there's a fucking somebody tried to re resurrect their mom and their body, their soul got slammed into some armor. I know nothing else about it. That's all okay. I know. I don't. I don't recognize so, names. Okay. Like, I, I know the story. So. Really well. we could I, I, I trust. I trust Genji's role playing enough. No, I'll. I'll. I'll, that, I'll roll with it. That I will. I will go yeah, ahead and I'll, do the story. You guys that have figured yeah. it out, shush. Because <laughs> I, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and yeah. by that, I mean I'm a, I, I'm a sadistic DM. Um, but... <laughs> That's true. He is. It's, it's those, but those kinds of things are the, the, the ones that I get the best reaction out of you guys with. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do it. Speaking well, of, like, so anime... Far, you're such man. a good storyteller that... Yeah, I'm having a good time. Good. I'm glad you guys are having a good time. The, the fucking what I'm trying to think. What's the name of the fucking anime that I can't stop watching at the moment? It's called like, is it okay to pick up girls in a dungeon? <laughs> like, and it's fucking. <laughs> whoa, whoa! So Fuzz is gonna do uh, a mini giveaway right now. Uh, what? Right. Yeah. Get it, Fuzz. So he's got he's got some Crunchyroll VIP passes. Nice. Uh, that he's just gonna yeah. kind of give out. Um. In, in chat. So if you if you want to, uh, that I think that was just you, goat. If you guys want to get down on that, let him know. Let him know that hey, I would I would like uh, a Crunchyroll VIP pass. And if, if you watch a lot of anime, then it's it's worth like the was it like eight bucks a month, I think six to eight bucks. Like for me, it's worth it. Like I've been a Crunchyroll subscriber. Like I I pay because I don't want ads. And uh, my TV had a Crunchyroll app built into it when I bought it, so I can get ad-free 1080p. I was like, yeah, it's worth seven bucks. But then it was like me and my wife also watch like uh, we're actively watching about seven series at the moment. 
So it's for us, it's worth it. I like uh, the service a lot. Right on. So if you if that is something you guys want to get down on, you could have lurked like the whole chat, and you're just like, yeah, I want one. Let uh, let Fuzz know, and uh. And when yeah. Fuzz runs out of them at some point, like I can do that in the future. I think I've got several probably still hanging out on my account too. Yeah. So if that's something like I'd like to get down on. <laughs> I usually give them all to my friend Fletch, but I think she's hit her uh, limit of how many like free coupons she can put on her account. I first, like I don't watch enough anime for that to be a viable thing for me. I I'm trying to remember like I'm going to my queue list. So I can remember everything we're in the middle of watching right now. Um, we watched JoJo and Sailor Moon and Naruto and um, uh, the cute high school Earth Defense Club. <laughs> what? the greatest fucking thing it's think of Sailor Moon but just a bunch of effeminate men who don't know why they why they're Sailor Moons well, uh, that's fucking right. funny it's funny it's funny <laughs> as shit uh, my favorite ongoing show is uh, uh, is it wrong to try and pick up a girl in the dungeon uh, that one's pretty good and that one that one made me all well up last week so that food saying? wars fucking food wars is a good time <laughs> If you guys haven't picked it up for some reason, uh, and and want a good game to look at that is stressful, check out Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon is actually Dungeon's good. it's it's RNG based, but still it's a pretty good game. It is a real good game. It's just got a big update too. I yeah, think if you haven't watched too. Food Wars and you like food porn, then that's the show for you. <laughs> and I mean literal like when food people porn? eat food, their clothes explode off. Oh, see, I that's was thinking like sushi rolls, fucking. No, no. Cypher, didn't you watch an episode of that? Uh, which one? The uh, the Food Wars. The food. Yeah, I I saw the clip that I that you saw, and then you pointed me to it, and I checked out the first episode of it, where they were basically setting the plot for the main character and his yeah the the, the conflict that he was going through. So yeah, that's it's cool. Uh, the like one it. the the it's one funny. that I was watching that confuses the shit out of me, and I don't know why I keep fucking watching it is um. Oh, what the fuck is it? It's the little, the little high school girl one that I was talking to you about. Uh, night, night, what's like night jewel or something like that? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That one's good. It's fucking. Uh, it's weird. I like that one. I, I'm a big fan of. Uh, I can't understand what my husband is saying. That's a that's a fucking delightful. It's it's short. It's like each episode's like five minutes long, but it's about this woman who marries this huge nerd borderline <laughs> shut in. It's it's kind of great. Like it's legit. I need to catch up. I just realized I'm behind on a few. Game of Thrones tonight. That yeah, fuck. I'm behind on Game of Thrones. I gotta watch. Oh, I'm behind. Oh. Like I'm behind too. The last one I saw was was uh, 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 old girl getting getting uh, hardballed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the last one I saw. Last week's was uh, it was good, but it wasn't. It didn't. There was no resolution to anything. So it was a lot of a lot more development and build up. Not no payoff really yet. Yeah. But uh, Key uh, Hell yeah. starts up soon too. Shit. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, did you guys did you guys take a look at Mr. Robot by any chance? Not I yet. Not. Uh, you've you've recommended you it. I've, I you added it to my list. It it's not start the season. The, the actual series doesn't start. I think until September. But they have the first full episode. And even though the plot is sort of, it it has that predictable feel to it. The it's sort of like Dexter meets fucking hacker. It's not a serial killer, but it's it's the same sort of you serial know hacker wacky wacky. Wacky is the wrong word, but the the loner, uh, fucking <laughs> protagonist who is sort of an anti-hero, and it's actually it's really cool. It's 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 it has a cyberpunk-ish angle to it, so you should definitely check that out. Oh God, <laughs> what? I, I have this link for you. I like links. Uh, that URL already. <laughs> Oh, oh no. yeah. I can't. I can't tell if satire or if it's an actual site. But nonetheless, <sighs> I'm our dude. Just looking like it's from <laughs> GeoCities page from '96. It is, does. It's like it's... go to the homepage of it. Oh man. my God! Wow. 
That is yeah. that is potentially. Is there, is there a fucking visitor counter by some gifts on there? <laughs> Holy shit! There might if, be. That's got to be satire. There's no way someone could create this website sincerely. God, <laughs> I, I'm not. I don't. It's one of those things where it's like, I think this is funny regardless of it's satire or not. I don't think I want to put it in chat no. because it might offend somebody. But There like, is a, a visitor counter at the bottom, by the way. Of course there is. <laughs> Apparently it's been up since April 2002 and has never been updated. <sighs> I'm guessing. The best. Uh, the best. Uh, that was, that was kind of great. I kind of needed that. I need to watch just, more. Fuzz says, just read it out loud. Fuzz, it is a... Uh, it is a description of Ministry, the the band, uh, from someone who has a very religious mind, and we will... I'll leave it at that. Speaking of, <laughs> speaking of fucked up websites, do you know that the Heaven's Gate cult website is still up and still active? Really? Like it hasn't been taken... To, yeah. Yeah. Huh. The, the official website for the Heaven Heaven's Gate cult is still online. It's still is, live and active. So is, is someone still, like I mean, who's it's, running I don't it? It's been updated. I don't think <laughs> it's been that's, updated that's since '97. But okay, yeah. Like that was my no, question. Yeah. Is there someone who admins it actively? Who, who's paying the domain fees for that? I don't know, but it's, it's still up. One of those things. With, domains are so cheap. Somebody probably just paid for it in bulk. They probably just bought like a hot decade of domains. <laughs> That's just uh still Dude, Gingy, sense, when Gingy, when you are done with uh with the Bloody Baron and Witcher, let me know. Tomorrow, probably. Because I wanna uh, know I wanna know what uh what you think. Okay. Uh I'm probably going like that's the next quest I'm doing and it's probably tomorrow. Depending on several things, whether my wife and I go to the gym after work and what time she's working, etc. If I come home to an empty house, then that's what I'm doing. If I come home and she's home, we're probably going to the gym. Oh, fair enough. Not to say that I might not play it when I get home from the gym. It just depends on what time it is. Right. That uh. Isn't the Bloody Baron one of the ghosts in Harry Potter? He might have been, actually. I think that's a Slytherin house ghost. I don't know. You had, the only one I remember was like Moaning Myrtle and Nearly Headless Nick. Yeah, Those are the only ones that I remember. I like having no clue about what the fuck you guys are talking about. <laughs> it makes me happy. Harry P, motherfucker. Uh, you go with that. It's all you. Dude, uh, dude I like Harry Potter. You Harry can have my like helping. The, um, <laughs> dude, J.K. Rowling's Twitter account might be the greatest thing in the history of the <laughs> internet. Oh, I... It's, Dude, she is a fucking treat. I'm she will answer you any qu any question you have about the Harry Potter universe. Like, like she will answer any question. <laughs> like, including but not limited to is is Dumbledore a bottom or a top? <laughs> like, like who takes the biggest dumps in Hogwarts? And like it, like people just throw random like borderline trolley questions at her about the character she's made up and she will straight face answer all of them and it's hilarious uh, in I, detail I think that one may be the best Twitter account ever dude. oh so Nilla Starbies yeah that's fucking great dude Nilla Starbies is great <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Counting Crows one really like if you haven't seen <laughs> I yeah, don't think I've read that one every day someone just writes 13 crows 14 crows <laughs> 15 crows is that like the official yeah, it's it's somebody grabbed the the handle. Somebody's got counting crows, and every day it's like thirty five crows, forty seven <laughs> crows. That's fantastic. It's fucking funny. Uh, Stevie Wonder's Twitter account. Is oh, that's funny. also a good one. Yeah. <laughs> one of them was like, um, there's like a fake Bill Nye one that's real good. There's a fake Barack Obama one that's real solid. Um. God, there's I I've got I think I only follow like fake Twitter accounts. I don't think I sincerely follow anybody. I've uh, I've gotten more active on Twitter lately. I don't know why, but it's I, it's become a thing. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitter for some weird reason, dude, I I'm on there Twitter. I I I don't use it often. Uh, I basically use my Twitter as 
nights I can't sleep, whatever the dumbest fucking thought that came into my head is, that's what I'll tweet. And it's just the garbage can of the internet. I, I don't update it enough for it to be interesting, but... <laughs> yeah. Can I follow it? I think I follow you. You, you might. I don't know. It's, no, apparently I don't. I'm gonna fix it's, that. The address is exactly what you think it is. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, my favorite thing, whenever I have like a dumb thought and I put it on Twitter, it's like I will check to see whatever is trending and I'll hashtag that at the end of it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Fuzz. I've got on Facebook. You know who else actually is really good as far as uh, actually interacting on Twitter is uh, Chris Perkins, the R and D guy for for D and D for Wizards of the Coast. Oh, dude, I love Chris Perkins. The dude is a fucking DM, man. Yeah, like if I could get to that level DM, I would. I I would probably lose my mind. But he knows, like, he just knows his shit. He's like, people will randomly ask him, so what's your favorite, like, classic monster? And, like, two seconds later, he's got an idea, he's got an answer. I just, he's, if you're interested in D&D at all, and just kind of the way that designers and DMs approach the game, definitely follow him on Twitter. Like I th like one of the tweets you like said, I have a tweet from twenty thirteen. Yeah, Chris yeah, Perkins. Chris Perkins is good. Yeah, I'll check him out. That sounds fun. The, what was his favorite classic monster? It was because I just saw it. It was a spirit naga. Okay, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just it's, I'm just I've... looking at my Twitter account now. Like, I got hashtag reborn. I am now nine dinosaurs. <laughs> and, like. Going to get weird with Dom DeLuise's ghost this weekend. Hashtag hot and spicy. <laughs> it's like if I'm awake at three o'clock in the morning and gibbering like a lunatic, I usually do it on Twitter. Fair enough. Did That's you, probably I, why I never see your tweets. Did you I took a pregnancy the... test today. Got a C plus. Hashtag side effects. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys? It's see dumb. That? It's like it's not funny. It's just fucking lunatic gibberings. Did you Did you see the latest Nellist Arby's entry? No, I haven't checked it. You probably won't die tonight, but if you do, who cares? Arby's, fuck you. <laughs> That's what it says. Oh, God. December 19th, 2012, I wrote, Do they make suicide bomber jackets? <laughs> Hashtag real talk. Uh, all right. I think, uh, I think I'm going to get out of here and go watch some Game of Thrones. Nasty Nate used fist. It was super infected. <laughs> But I will catch you guys later. You guys that are still hanging out in stream, thank you so much. I'm going to drop a little bit more XP on you guys. Just for hanging out and listening to us be random <laughs> stupid assholes. Uh, Pretty more, much. Than, more than anything else. Um, I am the Hound of Bastardville. So I'm going to drop a little bit more XP on you. We will do a giveaway next week during next week's show. I don't Our... know what is going on with my fucking stream thing, but it's doing that weird stuff again, so... Yeah, I'll have to remind myself of that. If anyone in the chat is actually interested, you can hit me up for uh, Crunchy Roll Premium codes. I have a bunch. And uh, and I haven't decided how we're gonna do the Hero Forge mini. I will either we'll either do it one of two ways. We'll have somebody here in the group design it, and you'll just get something random, which I think is is a lot of I like that idea a lot. Uh, or I can It'd just kind of give you a like if we all made one. Yeah, if we all made one and they pick it, somebody or something, I don't know. I would totally. That's, I like that yeah, idea. that would be super yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah, we could we could try I to think make our do. own characters. Yeah, something. Uh, yeah. And, and we'll do that next week. Um, and uh, and until then, uh, so go next week. We're gonna do uh, check out Hero Forge. I believe it's HeroForge.com. That sounds yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, but it it allows you to make custom minis, and so we're gonna give one of those away. It's gonna be the nice like. Not the crappy one. It's going to be the nice $25 one that's got the good detail to it. Um, and maybe maybe if we had like 100 followers or something, uh, later on we'll do one of the big ones, like the $80 one as a giveaway or something. Uh, but I think tomorrow's is just going to be the nice $25 one uh, that we'll give away. But until then, we will catch you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys miss part of the show, I will put it up on YouTube 
tonight. Uh, so you can catch it there. Until then, later. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs>